Okay, it's Friday the 13th. We're in uh, a wonderful place in Wales, which is called Fwelly. Now, Fwelly is actually, um, goes back in centuries. This particular church, St. Peter's, has been here since the 6th century, 513 to be precise, is when its first building foundations, its cornerstone, was laid in 513. Um, interesting from two points of the fact is that um, my ten times great grandmother on my mother's side, the um, Gwyn, Gwen Wynn um, was born and raised in this area, more so in Lambadrog, which we're now going down to shortly. That you'll see the wonderful church there as well, um, with the details. But also that she frequented Fwelly most of her time. Now, the reason why Gwen Wynn is quite important in in the in the MacAndrew line, the Neville line, everything else, is because what she didn't know is to bring it forward 400 years. And what she started there would be the feud between the families of the, the Perrys, the Wins, and the Nevilles. And that feud would last for, for many, many centuries to come. Which, which led to the result of the MacAndrews, Sir Robert MacAndrew, disowning his daughter when she decided to marry a Perry in the early 1900s. So something that happens 400 years earlier has an impact on something that happens 400 years later, which is just so fascinating. The church itself says it's been built for many years, it's had lots of work done in it, the vicar's very friendly there. He's the vicar of this particular church and also of the church down at Lambertrop where we're going to. Um, in regards to um, the history here, there is a lot of history, but I think we're going to talk about that much more down at the other church where we can go inside and see the artefacts I, I expect to be there. Um, so we'll be, um, we'll be there shortly. Okay, we made it to Lambertrog. Um, what an amazing village and what an amazing church. Um, So that, uh, that would make sense because the connection between the Parries, the Nevilles, the Winds, the Candles, and there's even reference to the transition between Dublin and London. So there's transition there between, say, from Ireland to Wales, which then makes a connection in my family chain, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the church itself is, is absolutely brilliant. It's been here for centuries. It's been There has been a church or building site here since the we're going back over a thousand bce um, and so it's absolutely amazing it's the most amazing church i have ever had the privilege of going inside um, it's it's beautiful what's what's lovely is um inside it's the most um we we didn't film inside but we have got lots of pictures that i'm sure janice will be putting online um, the church inside it almost reminded me of the italian chapel on the old Although that's only a hut and a steel hut, um, it, it did remind me of that straight away. The same feel, the same energy as the Italian church at Orkney. Which, I'm, again, I'm not surprised because if we look at Ireland, Wales, Northern Wales in particular, and then if we look up to Scotland, we've got the county there. So an amazing church. It's got so much history and so many hidden mysteries. changes wow. because I'm not a proper bell ringer. That's mm -hmm. it. No, but we have some numbers you see. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Right. So I can stand there, right. not those, and say oh. one over two. Right. So he rings first, then follows. So I can just by calling numbers change all the bells round. Ah uh, yes of course. And yes. then when you get good, if you just and follow works. those numbers on every stroke, it's called plain hunt where the bells right. are changing them. All the time, on every stroke, they change the positions. But all you're doing is following numbers. Wow. Good bell ringers just have it in their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. But uh, am I, am I because of the way. Am I allowed to have a go? Yeah, just one second. Sure. 
because all the bells are on wheels. Yeah. You see that wheel? Yes. The rope is round there. Right. So that distance round there, depending on your height, right. is the distance your hands have got to go from there to there. Of course. Yeah. And if you do that, you get the balance point there. Yeah. And you get the balance point there. Okay. Yeah. That's why it was corroded in the walls before the oh, new frames right. put in. And I put uh, the Virgil's name on one of them and he cried when he came. Oh. They were all outside uh, listening and he hadn't seen his name before. And that's the sound box on the top. And what's it made out of? Just wood? Wood. wood. Wow. The whole lot. It's all wood? Yeah. Which one? Um, Should I go this way? Take this off so I've got some leverage. <laughs> I can't damage it, can I? No, no, oh, no. Good. I'm good. Good. <laughs> good. You hold that. Off of me. Here? Yeah. Okay, hold so that tight. Two hands, which I was just at the bottom, about there. About there? About, no, a bit higher. Two hands. Two hands? Yeah. Okay. Off, nose opposite the rope. Right. And now it's a go, but the biggest. Fault that everybody does to begin with Go on. is to try and push the rope up. The ropes go all over the place when you push them. Ah, uh, yes. So yes. you let the bell go up and just Take feel it. the weight okay. and then come down again. Okay. All you're doing is that one at the moment. Okay, it's fine. And don't look up. Okay. What am I doing then? Putting it down. Very lightly. Don't pull it too hard. Ah. Can you feel that? That better, yeah. Yeah. It's right, isn't it? Yeah. And you're lifting your hand, which you shouldn't. Oh. From there. And you're not going high enough now. Keep that movement going. That's fantastic. That's on balance, you see. Yeah. It's a technique, isn't it? It's a technique, right? Let it go high. You feel more weight when it goes high. Pull it off balance. Try this again, yeah. Let it go up. Did it go up high enough? Okay. If it didn't go high enough, yeah. the bell hasn't gone right round. And it come back and... Of course it comes back and then you make it And the then you get a lot of loose ropes all over and it's dangerous. Oh my god, yes, I can imagine. <laughs> anyway, just one right. more right. Okay, go on. Yeah. Yeah. I should do fractionally high. That's it. You should on your head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I took my head to get it. Oh, good. All right, it's on yeah. balance. Oh, good. I've been feeling a bear this guy. I didn't expect that. <laughs> The secret, if you just go through one Oh, yeah, sure, sure. The difficulty, when I'm on. teaching people, they yeah. start with that and they ring in with all the others, just yes. with that one. Yeah, it But then time. you never let go of that, but you've got to catch this on the second one. I see what you did, yeah. And catch that and ring on that. And it's the same principle. You're catching both with two hands, but you never let go of that. Right. When you come down, you just put your hand there again. See if okay. you can do it. Should we go small? Should we go small? Sorry, I can see it. That's there. Yeah, that's, that's the there. position right. for yeah. that. And that's going to my head there, that's right. Yeah. Good. And there's a position on there. Yeah. When you catch that. Okay. So pull that down. That comes down. See where I'm catching ah, that? Yes, it's just a little bit. If you head. catch it here, you get that. Yes. So you just get used to what your yeah. height is and what you can ring. It's so easy. Once you know. Once you know that. But a lot of people think they're going to drop okay. that when they do it. Right, so that's fine. I've got it. Okay. Have you got two hands on that? Oh, yeah. Doing that part right. That's the hand. Yeah. And both hands will come up there. So before you do it, right. just put both hands on there now. Come on. What? Catch this here. Ah, you've done it one hand. Two hands. Uh, what, with this as well? Yeah, that's it. Now take it down again. No, uh, and hold it. Two hands. Oh, yep, yeah. okay. Two hands. Yeah. Two hands. Yeah. Two hands. Yeah. And I think you'll have to catch it just a bit higher. Right. So down here, I won't let you do any damage. So. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. 
Well, we'll no, do. no, no. Oh, yeah. I'll pull this off. Yeah. And next time you'll be two hands on this. Okay. Next time it comes down. Okay. Up. Catch. Pull. Catch. I'm not catching. Oh, no. Pull. Oh. No, it's all right. Yeah. You're looking up. Oh, so, yeah, yes. So, let me have this time. Yeah. Just come in. Yeah. I said, don't look up. And I looked up. <laughs> <laughs> they all made the same mistake. Because you are, you're watching it. Oh. You're there. Oh, I okay. The okay, great. I let the bell down now. And okay. All it is, is not pulling it. It's letting the bell do the work. And it's gradually coming down. Okay. And when it comes down, so you don't have a lot of loose roll, I take a loop. See that? Gosh, yeah. yes. Really this, this handed. 